Welcome to the second days of Meadows Investment Forum. I'm here with Westwood Gold CEO Colin Moore. Welcome, Colin. Thanks so much for having me. Well, you seem one of the juniors swimming in this, um, you know, current, um, pretty tough current, and you're doing quite well lately. We just chat about, and you have something very exciting coming uh, this year. So, can you tell us uh, your project and why you guys are so excited about? Absolutely, and yeah, like like you mentioned, it's been turbulent times in the market. We're uh, luckily staying uh, at or above our financing price, which was twelve cents back in, in late February. Um, and that financing was to fund our upcoming drill campaign that you alluded to. So we're very excited to be launching our first drill campaign as Westward. Um, we're doing a 4,000 meter RC drill campaign. Essentially, the goal of that uh, drill program is to expand um, the lateral extent of our resource. So we have uh, 173,000 ounces at 1.2 grams per ton. Um, that's a historical resource from 2009. And really, we think that is just the tip of the iceberg in terms of potential that um, this district has to offer. And we have three projects now that are 40 square kilometers um, along the Battle Mountain Eureka Trend, right next door to Barrick. Um, and they've really only uh, put drill holes into a very tiny portion of that, um, of that area. So we're stepping out. Um, it's a fairly ambitious campaign. Um, we were fully funded, uh, $1.3 million we budgeted earmarked for this, um, for this campaign, and we're going to be kicking off in about two weeks from now, in the first week of June. Oh, excellent, excellent. So you bursted the first round of the 4,000 meter RC drilling, mm -hmm. right? So how deep you plan to drill? You're looking for oxide target, or are you more for the deeper, like a recent IAT discovery, spectacular discovery? Yeah, yeah. Maybe you want to try to repeat that? Yeah, so, so we're going to go deeper than most of the historic drilling ever went. Um, it is RC, so we're going to be doing about 300 meters depth per hole. Mm -hmm. But um, so that's going to allow us to not only test some of these high grade structures that we've seen in past drilling, but get to a zone um, that we think is uh, potentially hosting widespread dissemination. So very few holes um, from past operators went past 180 meters. Okay. Only 16% of holes ever went that far. But when they did go that far, they started to get these wider intervals of Carlin style disseminated gold, mm -hmm. which is the big prize for us. So uh, short answer, we are going deeper than previous operators, um, but we're also looking to spread out our target. So 12 to 15 holes, about an average of 300 meters per hole. Oh, excellent. excellent. So what do you plan to get after this end of the program? You have, can you do a resource or you get some target for the next next round of drilling? Yeah, so we're, we're essentially going to use this, um, this program and the results from this program to help inform us for future drill campaigns. We're stepping out to the east, the south, and the west of our current resource. Um, so if we can connect the dots between those two, then there definitely is a new 43101 uh, in the making. We might need to do some more infill drilling to get to that point. But really proving out the lateral extent of that mineralization with the goal of putting out a new resource estimate. And then from there, depending on the results, um, the ultimate goal is to move east towards Turquoise Canyon, which has never been drilled before. We've done almost every other program you can do before sinking drill holes into it. And that's kind of the blue sky potential for the district that we've uh, accumulated. Oh, excellent. What's the plan for drilling for those areas? Yeah, so um, if all goes to plan and uh, the targets that we've chosen in this campaign prove to be true, uh, prove that the mineralization does extend eastwards, then we're going to systematically move onto Turquoise Canyon probably uh, in the spring of next year um, to do our phase two, which will, you know, depending on our ability to finance on the back of this catalyst, then it'll be hopefully a more aggressive campaign, more meterage, maybe some diamond drilling as well. Wow, excellent, excellent. So yeah, that, that, that sounds like very interesting. So you are basically still at the early stage, but the, hopefully you're sitting on the elephant. And yeah, the, yeah. You're so in the elephant country. We are, we are, you know, bordered by some of the largest mines in North America, Cortez Hills, Gold Rush Pipeline. Um, and yeah, we're, we got 2.3 million in the bank. We're only about a 9 million market cap today. So, you know, I, sky's the limit for us, and, and we're really excited.
Can you talk about the, the management team? It seems you have a lot of talent in this small company as you are. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, we're really proud of the, the people that we've been able to attract to this story. Like you said, small, um, but very interesting. So uh, briefly on my background, um, I started in the industry as a mining engineer uh, and then moved to capital markets, uh, investment banking, um, private equity funds. Um, and some of the guys uh, on our technical uh, technical team that we've uh, managed to attract uh, include Richard Bedell, a um, uh, well-known Nevada geologist who's probably best known for uh, being on the discovery team for Long Canyon, which um, very important discovery, Carlin type deposit, uh, ultimately sold to Newmont for $2.3 billion. Yeah, that's Steve, a good one. yeah, that was that was a great win. Um, and Steve Kaler is another member of our advisory committee. Uh, he's kind of a serial uh, Carlin type guru and he's made 11 discoveries in Nevada um, notably Cortez Hills which is 10 million ounces producing mine right now back in 2005 uh, just 10 clicks north of us um, and six of his discoveries out of the 11 have now become producing mines so very prolific uh, geologist and uh, we're really happy to be able to attract um, such you know such talent to such a small company and they're really happy to be going back to their roots, which is kicking rocks and walking the field. Oh, excellent, excellent. So g going forward, do you plan to um, get into production or maybe sell it like a Long Canyon or, you know? Something? Yeah, uh, the short answer is I don't want to be in construction building a mine. <laughs> you know, there's enough headaches that could come along with that. So I think um, ultimately the goal for some type of liquidity event for our shareholders would be to build up the resource, build up the land package to a point where it becomes attractive for either a mid-tier, uh, you know, an advanced developer, or even a major. Um, we have, we're surrounded by majors in the district, so make it attractive enough um, to an, an acquirer to, you know, eventually come in and take us out. Wow, excellent, excellent. So good, good, good chat with you. Yeah, and thank you I so much. I hope to hear some good news from you from this year's film yeah, result. Yeah, yeah, stay be very exciting. Stay yeah. tuned. We'll be putting out a lot of news. So exciting times ahead. Okay, thank you. Good luck. Thank you so much, Chen.